Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We're here at the Immuno Project, are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, inspiration, guidance, advice, and in the uh, area of guidance and advice. And we talked in the past about the tshuva, how tshuva is a process, how there's steps. There is a passage in Parshas Netzavim in Deuteronomy, uh, which sets out uh, a very interesting series of verses, which kind of highlight the, um, the levels of repentance, the levels of tshuva. And they're found in chapter 30. And I'll read the verses to you. Um, chapter, uh, verses 1 and 2 of chapter 30. It will be when all these things come to you, then you will take it to your heart, and you will return unto Hashem. It's the first one. When, when you find out these things happen to you. Second set of verses Verses 7 and 8 of chapter 30. Hashem will place all these curses upon your enemies and you will return. I'm not reading the full verses. I'm reading the, 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 the words that are relevant to, to the point here. And then the last is verse 10. When you will listen to the voice of Hashem your God, when you return to Hashem your God with all your heart and all your soul. So see, we have three steps. The first level, the lowest level, is you start to do tshuva, you start to wake up, you start, you start to return. When you see that all these horrible things are happening to you, to you, you see disaster coming on you, then you will take it in your heart, then you will wake up. The next level, when you see these horrible things happening, uh, the curses placed on your enemies, then your eyes are open, then you're aware. And finally, when you listen to the voice of Hashem, uh, and return to Hashem with all your heart uh, and all your soul. Um, so, again, the lowest rung of the repentance ladder is uh, when you're experiencing punishment. They say that there's no atheists in a, fo a foxhole. There's not a lot of unbelievers in a, in a hospital, and in the critical care ward. Um, when you're suffering, it's easy to cling to God. It's easier, and it really prompts you when it's, uh, when it's yourself. The next level of tshuva, um, when, witness, when one witnesses the downfall of others, um, his enemies, even his former friends, um, you get a realization uh, occurring next door that's uh, likely to happen to you. You say, oh, if not for the grace of God, that could be me. That could wake you up. It, uh, it prompts you. Um, when God puts curses on our enemies. Um, it leaves us open to the message. The highest and, of course, the most desirable of level of tshuva is uh, represented by he who will listen to the voice of Hashem and return with all your heart and all your, all your soul. This individual doesn't wait for punishment to happen to him. He doesn't wait for his enemies to, be, uh, to receive curses. Um, he acts immediately as soon as he realizes that he has done something wrong, that he has erred. Uh, and uh, he reflects that, uh, you know, maybe I didn't live in accordance with, uh, with the standards set out by Hashem. Maybe I, should, I need to smarten up. And um, his, this awareness um, uh, spurs on an immediate adjustment, uh, followed by repentance part of the process realize you're doing something wrong stop it feel sorry feel remorseful turn around all those processes that we set out in uh, previous uh, videos it's at the highest level um, when you have the insight to do tshuva to repent and avoid punishment you 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 nip it in the bud and um, you can cut out a lot of tsuris that way, a lot of uh, unpleasantness, a lot of anxiety. Um, let us have the foresight and the strength to daily, as, as Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev would do, at the end of every day, he would review what happened in the day. And if he saw, he saw something wrong, immediately he would do tshuva. Let's take on the uh, that that minig that that minhag that habit 
of Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev. Let us, if not every day, occasionally, regularly, review the events. How did I fall short? How did I not live up to the kind of person that Hashem wants me to be? Review it. And if you did something wrong, and if you did something that's deserving of tshuva, don't wait for a disaster to hit you. <clears throat> don't wait for your uh, wicked neighbor to be struck down by, not, by lightning. Do it now. When is the time to repent? Now. When is the time to make up for your wrong deeds? Now. Do it now. Um, it's never too late, but then again, it's never too early. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them inspirational. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.